Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of the hip hop community, and that's Little Dirk and FYBJ Main was able to sit down and have a, well, at least had a phone conversation with the help of Mimo 600. And salute to that brother on that, man. Now, I did see several different people clown Dirk and FYBJ Main because there's this war that's been going on really since the beginning of time. Don't nobody really know why and the reasons why even people might think makes no sense. You know, these two brothers was able to sit down. And let me say this. Salute to both of them again, man. This is what Chicago needs. This is what our culture needs. We have to see people put their differences aside. Now, we get it, right? There was losses on both sides. But the only thing you can do is move forward from here and realize that all of us were sucked into this poison we're better together than we are apart can y'all believe that o block and 600 and 63rd all of them is in the same area and look how many different people could have came out of there and been successful uh duck rondo the the list goes on and on honestly uh people who you thought should have made it fbg cash even the o block six right these are all young still young brothers that's gone and i think that and when I'm saying gone, either dead or in jail. But when it comes to like a Dirk and FYBJ Main, they've been able to to live, even though it was at a cost because Dirk didn't lost close friends and family. FYBJ Main and lost close friends and family. But they were able to live and get a little older and now start to realize that the stuff really make it really makes no sense. And we have to bring our communities together. Now, is the world gonna be this? you know, this perfect utopia environment. No, it's not. It's never going to be that. But violence should never be the reason. Your mothers, your grandmothers, your grandfathers, your little brothers, your nieces should be able to walk to the corner store and I have to run up, worry about getting a bullet to the noodle. It shouldn't have to be like that. And we have the power, especially these young brothers with influence to try to sit down and try to squash this. We can't bring, they'll never be able to bring back people that they lost, but they can prevent more people from being lost. Man, the communities that we need education, we need strong black men. We need to learn that you don't have to put the, pull the pistols out. You can go box at your local gym community. Like you remember back in the day, it was boxing gyms everywhere. It was community centers everywhere. You know, they would teach you to put the gloves on to get in the ring or even the gloves is out in the streets or whatever, instead of pulling out weapons, man. And what these brothers don't understand when you pull out a weapon and you use it if it's not for self-defense purposes you going to jail for a long time look at the old block six muop and all them man them young brothers they some they young brothers man these people they will not be the same when they're in their mid-30s they mid-40s the mid-50s and these guys are going to more than likely do life in prison federal jail so if these brothers somehow live 60 more years you still gonna be locked up one mistake that you made when you was in your 20s or at the least very early 30s. Can you believe that? And, you know, Dirk needs, Dirk, FYBJ Main, and all the other brothers from Chicago, man, unity. Unity has to be involved. And we need to learn how to put the guns down and, you know, and box it out. Like I said, I, listen, growing up, I remember it used to be so many different times where you get to fighting. And afterwards, you be cool with the homie. Either I win or they win, but then you shake up, man. I remember one time, shoot, we got into a fight, and right after, <laughs> during the basketball game, right after the basketball game, shook up, went right back to hooping. And it's one of my brothers to this day. So, I mean, again, we got to stop clouding people trying to bring some type of unity together. You know what I'm saying? If y'all praise Malcolm and y'all praise Martin, then you got to think, what would they want? That's unity. We don't have to agree on everything, but we can at least put our differences aside and try to work together as brothers and as a community like every other community does. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.